on channel so that people can block that channel if they don't want to see those messages, but I just, I don't know, man. It feels spammy to me, so I try not to do it <laughs> too, too often. But I did still make sure to post that, you know, like I said, that we were going to, because it is, obviously, not a normal day for it. Okay. Hey, Noodle. <laughs> I just realized I forgot my thingies downstairs, my pouches. So if you're not, like, super busy or whatever, it would be appreciated. If you are super busy, I can come and get it myself. All right, pack up our tent. Uh, what time is it? I think it just told us, like, 10.34 or something. So with the mods that we have, the weather has an effect on us. And uh, right now, it is lowering our agility, which isn't great. It's not, like, the end of the world either, but it's not amazing. Uh, but the first thing we need to do, actually, before we worry about, like, anything else... Is see if we can find Rabina, dude. <laughs> the slave that we saved. Because, like, during our, our little trip here, our walk over here, she just disappeared. Uh, no idea where or why. So we're just going to have to retrace our steps and hopefully try to find her. And uh, pray that we don't get any more followers for <laughs> the entire time we play this game. I'm just not a follower person in Bethesda games in general. I generally don't have them uh, or use them unless it's like part of a quest or something because I'm just not into it. At most, I'll have like dog meat and, and Fallout. I do kind of like dog meat, but trying some ethanol free in the car? What? Are you are you trying to tell me you're dumping moonshine in your car right now? I'm, <laughs> what are you doing, my guy? I don't know if I can condone this or not, but... uh. Hey, either way, I, I hope it works out well for you, man. <laughs> All right, uh, hold on. We need to... Not that. I wish this would stay equipped. Oh, hey, it stopped raining. Hello. Hi, howdy. Hello. How are you? How's everyone doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> bros what's up guys i oh my god i'm so scatterbrained at the moment what is what is this shit i don't care i had a notification on discord and i just it's not important it doesn't matter it's literally stupid how's everyone doing tonight though hello noodle hello rue Harry Potter, that's how you're doing tonight. Very nice, very nice. No, I'm joking. You're doing your votes. I know, I know, I know, I know. Learn about polyamory. <laughs> I can't say words, man. In a poly relationship, and she cleared up so much better than the internet. Scooby Dooby Doo, yeah, dude. Scooby Doo, all the way. I know someone, not directly. I mean, like, I guess I do know them. Just not, like, well, that is. But the person that I'm thinking of is very strange. <laughs> and so is at least one of the people that were in the, the relationship all together. Very strange uh, people. The the poly thing, whatever. I just couldn't care less. But <laughs> very strange person, though. That's besides the point. Has literally nothing to do with the poly part. It's just, oh boy. Honestly, like... I don't know. So like it was it was one dude and two women in the relationship, right? At least to the best of my knowledge. Could have been more or less or changed at some point or points or whatever. So I don't know them that well. But uh honestly, like to me that just goes to show that there is someone right out there for everyone. Because bruh, the fact there was one person out there that wanted to spend their life with this dude let alone two <laughs> it just blows my mind man because he's a weird dude he's not a bad dude or anything like that don't get me wrong like from from the little bit that i've i've hung out around him or talked to him or whatever he seems like a decent enough guy and all but very strange person very strange 
you know a poly group or knew a poly group they're a mess <laughs> we're probably talking about the same poly group actually noodle uh, now that i think about it because you know them as well <laughs> and here my tammy ass is all alone <laughs> There is a person out there for Rue, maybe even a few, and that's, that's the moral of the story. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. We can, we can, I'm not gonna, like, name names or anything like that. I mean, they're pretty open about their poly relationship, so, like, um, but, you know, I don't wanna just, like, call people out on stream and stuff like that, so. Thought you didn't know the dude I was talking about? Maybe, maybe not, then? I don't know. Do you know more than one group of people in a poly relationship? Because I know you know the one that I'm talking about. You know one, yeah. So I'm pretty sure we're talking about the same one. And yeah, I, I know the dude. I don't know him, like like I said, I don't know him super well or anything like that. Um, But I know him well enough the last time he saw me, he uh came up to me and started talking to me about something i don't i don't even i don't even remember what it was exactly that he was talking to me about it might have been about his girlfriends it might have been about a kid i don't remember it could have been it could have been anything sounds about right he doesn't stop right yeah i'm pretty sure we're talking about the same person <laughs> so i don't know the the other parts of the relationship really i i've met one of them i think yeah not like directly but i've met like at least one of them uh the other one i'm not even sure who they are so like yeah i'll hunt you down just to talk about nonsense i mean look some people just don't get the love and attention that they need at home so they gotta <laughs> talk to anybody who'll listen to them apparently apparently <laughs> never mind that's just i'm just getting mean i don't want to it's just something something the two women in his life aren't enough um or don't listen to him enough whatever i'm just gonna shut up anyways how you guys doing hello <laughs> you just go back cycle it back around to hellos and how you doings because how are you guys i'm happy i'm happy y'all are good has slash had two women and multiple kids talk to them <laughs> yeah Oh, God. I am tired. Today was an eventful day at work. It wasn't a bad day at work or anything like that. It's just an eventful day. I, uh, as soon as I get there, the last few days, honestly, like there's there's been at least like one <laughs> problem every day that I've been working the past few days. And like playfully, one of the, the managers where I work have been yelling at me yesterday and then today because like she just happens to be the one there that can fix these problems and the past three days i've been the one that have taken the problems to her i didn't cause any of them to be clear right the first one was somebody screwed up uh when selling a product and the customer was out 150 dollars basically unless we could fix it right that one was a whole mess to get fixed but we got it fixed the next one was a dude screwed up uh when selling a product in this case the product itself was fine but he didn't collect the necessary payment not correctly at least so we had to get the lady back like 25 dollars. and then again today <laughs> this time the customer accidentally bought the wrong product returned it so he could buy the right product um but since the money went on to a gift card, he couldn't buy the product he needed with a gift card. Um, and, like, I didn't do the return. I didn't do any of these sales. I didn't do anything. I just had to take the problem to the manager and be like, look, this is the problem. Can we please do something to fix it? And so, like, she's, oh, she was not happy with me. But in a playful way. In a playful way. So it was, it was fine. It all turned out fine. Um, but anyways, yeah, today I get there. This guy I help out from time to time was there uh, looking for me for a while, I guess. But anyways, got him helped out. That took like an hour. And then for some reason, half of the people that should have been there today just weren't. So I got stuck selling uh, stuff for another department, basically, 
uh, that takes quite a while to do the the specific thing. So I, I got stuck doing that for a little bit. Got that all figured out, and then shortly after that was done, then bam, <laughs> the third problem. The third problem in the series of days, and it's just been like, bruh, what is what is even going on? What is life right now? But what I will say is doing shit like that, though, helps the day go by faster because it's not just, you know, the same thing that I do every day. It changes it up a little bit. So there's that at least, right? It helps helps the day feel like it doesn't drag quite as bit. And speaking of work, guys, my my arm is... I don't know. Yeah, you can see it there. My arm is a... My arm's a thing. It's a... Uh, I don't know, very purple now, <laughs> very purple, a little bit red, uh, it's starting to turn like brownish, yellowish, greenish, whatever, around the outside, still doesn't hurt or anything, it's fine, but <laughs> it's getting there, I think it's healing, right, I, I think it's done bleeding at this point and is just in the healing process, I think, although it was looking pretty red last night. Um, but it went back to like more shades of purple, so who knows, but around the outside edge, at least it's looking like it's starting to heal. And as far as I can tell, there's no like, cause the only real problem to worry about with this sort of thing, right? Is that it cuts off the blood flow to something, right? Like that's, that's the only real worry. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's other rare complications that can happen, but anyways, there's no signs of like there's no numbness there's no signs of like anything dying so like i don't i'm not really that worried about it but it looks pretty nasty though doesn't it ah better put bad noodle <laughs> it's fine it's fine that is uh that's everything that's happened in my life recently my life's pretty boring man <laughs> that's like <laughs> I'm going to just start making up stories to tell people. So at work today, you'll never believe what happened, guys. A fucking meteor crashed through the, the, the roof of the place that I work and landed in the middle of the store. And then as the crowd gathered around this crater that formed, right, we were all just... Just looking at it in bewilderment as as the the singe from the or the, the the heat from the fire was singeing our hair and then to our amazement it cracked open and a fucking dinosaur came out, dude. And um I don't know. I'm <laughs> losing my train of thought. Just <laughs> Oh god. I just is like I don't know how people live lives where they have like stories to tell all the time. Like those people bringing it back around now. Those people that just always have something to talk about, right? That just always want to talk to you and just go on and on and on about something. I don't understand how they have stuff to talk about all the time. My life is very boring. I wake up in the morning, I get ready for work in like a half hour. I go to work, which 90% of the time is very uneventful. Uh, the most eventful thing that usually happens is, like, I get a free donut or um, muffin or some customer cusses me out or something, right? Like, that's that's about as eventful as it usually gets. And then I come home, and an hour later, I'm on here. Like, <laughs> there's no time for anything interesting to happen there. I don't know how people have stories to tell all the time. Like, I could tell some stories from when I was a youngin', but eventually I'm going to run out of those too. Because while I have some interesting ones, one, my brain don't work. So, like, categorizing them as in, like, this is what I've told, this is what I haven't told or whatever, that's hard. I'm just going to end up retelling the same stories or just forget about some other ones or whatever. Anyways, point is, and then as I got older, things progressively just got a lot more boring. Like, so, I don't know what to talk about. Plus, some of the events from my childhood are probably not appropriate for talking about in a public forum. So, there's that, too. But, anyways, I'm just stalling for time while we uh, do the, the startup here. Give anybody who's going to come in tonight a chance to come in. Although, I think it's probably about time to pick a game. Uh, again, with the new later schedule and stuff, I understand it's a little bit harder for some people to come in and whatnot. Uh, so, to those of you who are here and can make it, appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. 
But uh, let's let's do the video game thing, shall we? Let's figure let's figure out what the hell we're playing tonight. Sounds like a plan to me. We got somewhere down here. Brain definitely don't work tonight. The list. So for anyone who hasn't seen this part of the list before, I made this one to randomly pick a game for us to play. Ignore that one that was highlighted. Uh, I click this little toggle number button. A random number will appear over here, and that will cause one of these to be highlighted. Whichever one gets highlighted is the one that we play. The first one, though, is always an example. So I'm going to click the button. Random number will pop up. Oh, my stomach's also a little fucked up. I'm sorry. So in this case, it was the Bard's Tale. If this was the real role, that's the game we'd be playing tonight. But it's not. So I'm going to click the toggle number button. Give it a moment. Going to click it back on again. A new random number will appear. And this time, whichever one highlights is the one that we will be playing tonight. In this case, number 13, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. That should be fun, honestly. I'm not positive if I've ever played Liberty City Stories before. Maybe? I want to say yes. I think, maybe, I don't know. I really can't remember, man. I played a lot of games when I was younger, and again, brain don't work, so it can be pretty hard to remember what has been played and what hasn't been played, but it's a Grand Theft Auto game, right? I don't think I've ever played a bad one, although, like, the old ones on the PS1 were a little iffy, just not necessarily my style. I wouldn't say they're bad, but the whole top-down car... I don't know, it just didn't quite work for me, personally. But the 3D ones have all been a ton of fun. So that's what we're going to play tonight, and uh, hopefully that trend of ton of fun continues. It's a little weird. We've kind of played them backwards, haven't we? Because didn't we do San Andreas first, and then and then Vice City? Well, Liberty City Stories, I think, actually came out like after those games, didn't it? Because I, I think, I think Liberty City Stories was originally like a PSP game. And then it got ported to the PS2. I think that's what happened. So it probably actually came out a little bit later in the life cycle. Anyways, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm rambling. Let me uh, take us to the break screen for a moment while I go find the game and pop it in. And then we'll get started. Dude, just die. Why can I not hit the damn rat? There we go. Thank you, Noodle. <laughs> ethanol free gas what why <laughs> right like what's it really matter for gas i know or like in your car at least i know like for small engines for like uh lawn mowers and stuff it can actually make a decent difference um because they're they're not designed for it but cars are made for it so like what's the benefit of it I used to burn the high ethanol gas in my car all the time, dude. <laughs> like, never gave me any problems. Didn't get quite as nice of a mileage. Uh, but it did cost a hell of a lot less. So we're pretty decent outside of just being cold and wet. I wonder what we can do to help the cold thing. Like, outside of... I, I, I imagine chilling by a fire and not being wet both of those would probably help a fair bit but outside of that like what do we do damn it why is it raining again i don't think there's anything we can really do about the rain like i mean i guess we could just camp for a while but i don't know man this place Hello! Hello, hello, friends! Why me? What's up? Psycho! Hello, hello! Howdy, guys. After much thought of where I want my votes to go... Blank. <laughs> just didn't just didn't quite finish that one there. He's probably in the voting process or something. Gotta grab my controller. My bad. Oh, boy! I saw a Twitch dropped out there for a second. Hopefully it's uh, back. I'm gonna mute the game for a moment. Because I don't know if... Psycho, thank you for the 16 bits, dude. Appreciate that. I don't know if this is, uh, like, 
popular music copywritten stuff or whatever. Probably. I mean, it's a rock star game. A lot of them. Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Hell yeah, dude. Good choice. Good choice. Let me not forget about that. Our Ratchet and Clank. Games to complete. Going Commando? Nope. Ra is that is that the one I don't have yet? That must be the one I don't have yet. Oh shit, there's a cutscene. Okay, let me unmute. No, fuck, it's not. Hold on. Where is it? Uh, your... Ah, there it is. Found it. So 11... I'm 55. Got it. I think there's a good chance next time we uh, do the thing. <laughs> the next time we play a PlayStation 2 game, I feel like there's a good chance we'll be playing Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> uh, he donated 16 bits intentionally just to make Noodle happy. Yeah, I'm sure she loves that, dude. <laughs> I'm sure she's super happy. Hey, so there he is, huh? Hey. <laughs> so listen, Tony. I know you did a good thing for us, and I know you've been lying low. I cannot hear the game. So I want you to take it easy for a while, huh? Vincenzo will look after you. You need some money? There we go. Ask him. You need a job? Lucky he'll take care of you. What more could a family guy ask for? Even my son done got it so good. But, Mr. Leone, I thought we got history. I mean, I've done a lot for this family. And now you're expecting me to take orders from this, this, this... Well, it just doesn't seem right. Tony, I know what you did, and no one is more grateful than me, honestly. But the idea that you walk in here and start to question my leadership right away is, quite frankly, out of order. Kabish. I understand, boss. Y'all are just trying to piss off Noodle, aren't you? Vincenzo will call down at Atlantic Key. He'll take care of you. Won't you lucky? Of course, boss. Anything you I'm say. okay with this, to be fair. Hey, <laughs> we can go there now. Now we just got a bit bid war. Oh. Thank you, Psycho. <laughs> I got you a nice little place to stay, Tony. Jesus Christ. It's got you written all over. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Poor Noodle. <laughs> Psycho with the 100. Thank you, my guy. <laughs> you guys are insane. I just I say this all the time, but like <laughs> you know none of this is necessary, my guys. All right, I have played this one a little bit. I think I only played it enough to like when I got the game though to try it out and make sure that it was working. I don't think I ever played more of this one than that. Not to the best of my memory, at least. Square to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how GTA works for now. <laughs> I'll probably forget in a moment uh, how to do something, but... R1 for handbrake. Very cool. This is it, Tony. Home sweet home. Beautiful. Can we get subtitles, maybe? This is supposed to be my home. Kind of skip the cutscene, whatever. I'm just, I just want, can we get subtitles? Options. Why me? With a thousand? Holy shit, my guy. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Y'all are insane, man. <laughs> Y'all really don't need to be doing all that. Thank you, though. Seriously. <laughs> I appreciate you a ton, but that is not necessary. <laughs> holy shit, dude. Uh, subtitles turn on. Um, brightness is probably fine. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, though. <laughs> Poor Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle hasn't won the bit war in months. <laughs> 
and then radio station. Is there just like an off or what's the talking only one? I think Is there a talking one? Maybe there's not. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess just put it on whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Walk into the yellow marker in the doorway. We can do that at least. When on a mission, you can save your progress by collecting the save icon. Time will advance by six hours. You can change clothes here at any time as well. Walk into the clothes to get a change of clothes, okay? Do we have any outfits or anything available to us? I mean, I guess we must. Why else would it put us here? Oh, it just like put us in an outfit. We didn't really have a choice of it. Ah, we don't need to save. It's fun. I'm sure it's fine. What's the chances of us dying anyways? Vehicles left in the garage next door will be stored when you save the game. <laughs> when did grain the 5k in my bank account for this? <laughs> Bro, that is totally unnecessary. It's fine, you guys. <laughs> Nobody needs to win the, 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 the bit war. <laughs> Hold L2 and R2 to look behind you. That's cool, but how do I look in front of me? <laughs> there we go. Are those like FBI agents? Just three dudes in suits walking in front of us. Ah, excuse me, my guy. Oh, oh. I didn't hit nobody, Mr. Officer, sir. Okay, this... I can't do the opera right now, man. There's got to be like an off setting, right? No, there's really... Oh, there it is. Wait, what? Shit. There we go. That's better. Let's keep it there. Let's do that. Now, how's our driving is the next question. Oof. Oof. Okay, well... <laughs> it, it was going well there for a moment, but then it all went downhill pretty quick. Tis fine. Tis fine. Now... Can we see the map? Ooh. Uh, yes, that's fine. So this is... This is the same map from... Is it the same map from GTA 3? I want to say it is. I've definitely played in this map before because I remember this area. I just can't remember for sure which one it was. Oh, shit. I forgot to start recording. Oh, well. So just have to export from Twitch. You work for me. So I'd better see you back here real soon. Let's just hope Twitch doesn't decide to royally screw up tonight. Because, uh, <laughs> that's my recording for the YouTube VOD, too. We'll see what happens. Are we breeding? That was a weird... Oh, God. Okay, so big alien eyes and drippy droopy ears. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't mind the purple and green though. Very slimy. Not just kinda. Oh wait, you said kinda cute. Okay, yeah. I'll agree with that. Kinda cute. I wouldn't want to touch it, but kinda cute. XR running to start sprinting? Okay. Why do I want to do that, though, when I have a car right here? What are we even doing? I wasn't paying attention to the actual people talking. I will just go to the marker, I guess. That's fine. Whatever. Wherever we're going. I'm sure we'll figure out what we're doing once we get there. Oh, God. The game... This is very bright. This is very bright. Jesus Christ, why me, dude? <laughs> With the five tier one subs. Thank you so much, my man. That is... <laughs> that is ridiculous, my guy. Thank you. <laughs> I, I never know what to say. Like, this is so unnecessary, my guy. But I appreciate you so much, dude. Seriously. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. I can't... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Just fuck that dude in particular, I guess. I'm so stuck. There's too many cars. I need out of here. I'm freaking out, man. Is there... 
Is there a person here in the car still? Or can I wreck this car and it doesn't matter? Hopefully we can just wreck this car. Also, Noodle, are you burning incense? Sorry, my phone was like freaking out for a second. I looked down. Next thing I know, the car is about to flip. It's fine. <laughs> is there, is there a, a spray and pray thing somewhere or something? What are they called? The places that fix your car and stuff for you? Around here somewhere? I'm sure it's fine. I mean, who cares if the car blows up anyways, right? It's not our car. We didn't pay for it. It's probably that Tony Lorenzo or whatever his name was. It's probably his car. And who even is that guy? Why should we care about taking care of his shit? No? Hmm, weird. <laughs> I just got a smell of something that smelled a lot like incense, but... Oh, I think you're gonna work today. Like it or not. Take the dealer to work. Can we... In this car? <laughs> Are you sure you want to get in this? I didn't realize we were gonna be giving someone a ride. The car is just a little beat up, my guy. I'm kind of hoping he just ends up, like, throwing up in the car. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, intersection bad. It's... Okay, it's fine. We don't have to go far. As long as we can make it where we're going before we blow up, it'll be okay. Get ready to make my lunch and take a bath and the wind sends here. Okay, well, I don't know. I can't tell if you're lying or not, though. I didn't think you were initially initially but whenever you then followed it up with no incense here lol now i'm starting to think you're lying to me and you are burning incense <laughs> hey okay we need to get like a new car or something um is there we could steal a bike. So wait, what happened in the last game? Why are we completely broke? Weren't we some, like, big shot for this dude? At the end of the last game? Shouldn't we have money? How do you jump? Square. Just steal this one. It's not a particularly nice looking car, but... It'll at least get us where we're going. Get that stallion. You bought these peaches and you, you have no idea how to eat a peach? You bite into it. And then you chew it up. And then you swallow it. What do you, what do you mean you have no idea how to eat a peach? Did my controller stop? Why can I not change the radio all of a sudden? Across the city took industrial action in sympathy for beleaguered I guess this is like an unskippable thing. Are threatened by the construction of the new Porter Road. I guess this is an unskippable thing. Neither side in this battle seems keen to give any ground. Union chief James. But it has a skin. You just eat the skin. It's a thin skin. You just eat it. Before she's licked. More later on LCN. I mean, you could peel it if you really wanted to, I guess. Like in theory, you can peel one. I've never tried, but like, just not the center. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to eat the center. The center is just a wee bit uh, poisonous. Would it be poisonous? Toxic? I don't know what the proper word for it is, because those things do mean different things. But it can cyanide you, which is bad. You don't want to be cyanided. <laughs> So don't eat the pit. Well, I know, <laughs> I know what the seed is called. I just can't like. There is something, like, like toxic, something being toxic and poisonous and venomous and etc. Like all mean different things. And I can't remember like which one each thing actually means or what each one specifically means. But point is, eat pit may die. 
I'm your peach and I don't eat peaches. Eat a peach. They're good. They're good. They taste nice. <laughs> peaches, dude. I want you to get over to Chinatown. All right, boy. You eat canned peaches right. sometimes, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you eat canned peaches sometimes. Yeah, I don't have any paper in here. That's a peach. It's just a soggy peach. A soggy, syrup covered peach. Wait, you, you've never eaten canned peaches? Are you sure? Didn't we make that peach sorbet at one point from canned peaches? And I could have swore you ate a couple of them. From the can, whenever we bought the can for it. You might have tried them once. How do you go like your entire life never eating a peach, dude? It was sorbet. It was literally just peaches, though, that were frozen and then blended up. Like, it's not like it had any other flavor or anything in it. It was just peach. Tarp, asshole. Hold R1 to lock onto a target. Press circle to attack. That dude looks like us if he was, I don't know, born from Frankenstein's monster. You want some more, asshead? Frankenstein and his mother had sex, and, and our mother had sex, and he was born. That's what he looks like. You're feeling very judged right now because you've never eaten a peach in your life. <laughs> you've never eaten a peach. Now, I hope you like it, though. Who am I even? No, I don't want to lock onto the lady. Just lock onto this dude. Ow, I forget how to punch. It's fine. We got this. Is there a block button? How do we not have, like, a gun or a crowbar or a baseball bat or anything? Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you for the money, dude. Pretty sure we got more money just now for killing that dude than we have all of the, the missions we've done so far. Okay. What other fruits haven't you tried? Have you ever eaten a pear before? Because I do like pears. I wouldn't mind getting pears someday. Because you haven't used sheep. I mean, legit, though. That's... <laughs> I don't think... Besides GTA 5, like, once... The cheats more or less died. I don't think I've ever played a GTA game without cheats. I've also never beaten a GTA game in my life. I was going to be GTA 5 because that one was actually a ton of fun. The single player, like, story part of it. Um, but then my brother convinced me to try GTA 5 online. And uh, I hated it so much I just never played the game again. <laughs> so, I do plan on going back to it at some point, but... Just hasn't been a uh, hasn't been a rush. Also, hello, Chocobo. <laughs> Welcome, my guy. Where is off? Can I just like hold it? Does holding it turn it off? No. There. You've had pears. It's been a very long time. Well, maybe we'll buy some pears soon. We can eat some pears. I used to live next to a pear orchard. It was nice. Get some free pears sometimes. We also had, uh, we had a couple red plum trees. And we had another kind of fruit tree. I can't remember what it was. And then at my childhood home, we had a, or another one of my childhood homes, we had a apple tree in the backyard. They weren't like, you know, like store quality apples, but they were edible apples. Pretty good. And uh, then at my aunt's house, we had a cherry tree. We used to go out and collect fresh cherries. Shocked all the pears. <laughs> Can eat a few pits apparently before they become dangerous, just not recommended. Yeah, and it also depends a lot on like how finely ground they are, right? Because if they're like finely macerated, then uh, they're a lot more dangerous than if you just like accidentally swallowed part of the pit or whatever. Same with like cherries. You can technically swallow like a handful of cherry seeds or pits whatever and be fine wouldn't recommend it just to be safe but in theory you could 
but if you were to crunch on them, like finely chew them up and swallow more than a few of them or one or two of them or something, I don't remember the numbers. Point is, you'd probably die. So like, because the, the cyanide is well trapped inside the seed. Um, so unless like the seed is extremely broken up, you're probably going to be fine. You'll either get like none or so little that it doesn't really matter. The theory being that, like, evolutionary, from an evolutionary standpoint, having... Oh, so your teeth were hurt. I mean, probably, yeah. Unless you have fucking teeth of steel or something. Can't imagine it'd feel too good. Um, but anyways, from an evolutionary standpoint, I think, like, the, the idea is that mammals who finally chew the, uh, the seeds would destroy the seed so then there'd be no offspring so they developed a poison like hidden inside them to to prevent animals that finally chew their food from eating them basically um whereas animals who just swallow them whole and then shit them out somewhere would be advantageous to their their growth and spreading across the land so like the plant itself learned to encourage not chewing it up more or less and also birds or something i don't know <laughs> can always just throw birds in there they're they play a role in everything somehow my teeth hurt drinking water that's too cold so definitely same sometimes same you should get yourself some uh sensitivity toothpaste also thank you for 50 more bits my guy holy shit dude you've already done like what 1100 over 1100 today you don't you don't need to do more my guy oh <laughs> they were the leftovers i gotcha i gotcha <laughs> that's fair no no i cannot get through here there we go oh that was a hidden package that wasn't even where we're going where the hell are we going Watch it. where is it inside it must be inside can we go that door that's a door <laughs> i didn't realize that was a door select different weapons by using analog stick or directional buttons press the current buy the current weapon by pressing x but only if you have enough cash well we literally don't have a choice so gotta buy a thousand fifty it can't just be a thousand it's probably like some sort of uh promotional thing or something like that i imagine okay we're gonna do like this one mission legit here at the construction site and then we are uh, going to look up and see what cool cheats there are as we watch that dude get murdered while we try and get in our car. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's a quote-unquote discount. Yeah, pay the same amount, but get more bits. That's... <laughs> Honestly, like, don't get me wrong, man. I am extremely thankful for bits. Um, and just the fact that Twitch has a built-in, like, donation-style system is nice and all. But... The 50% cut seems kind of ridiculous, dude, if we're being honest, though, you know. Just being real for a moment. Nobody tell Twitch, but personally, I think 50% is a bit much for, for Twitch's cut. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Why me? Yeah, <laughs> like, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous. I think, like, a cool 10% off the top or something would be pretty decent. Hell, even if it was, like, 20, you know what I mean? But 50? That's a tough one to swallow, dude. Hey, hey, what you doing? Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Did I specifically say let's just keep this one between us, y'all? Jesus Christ. Y'all don't know how to listen. How do we get up there? I see a hidden package. I want it. Oh, there's a there's like another dude hiding around here somewhere too. Uh can we just like parkour this shit? just like nope that doesn't work oh you want to support a creator <laughs> a creator ha words don't work brain don't work that's the real problem yes <laughs> what you said <laughs> i was i'm done i give up i give up on everything my nose is getting stuffy all of a sudden too it's bad everything's bad y'all i think the the hemorrhaging the the hematoma is spreading and i'm just slowly dying that's the problem 
Okay, where is this last dude we need to kill? And how do we get to him? Can we get to him from here? Does this, like... Do these open up? Can I shoot him through here? I'm not trying to shoot the hooker. How do we... Okay, can we go through this? Can we just, like, drive through it, maybe? Maybe that's what we do. But no, like, I do understand that, like, Twitch needs to make money, too, you know? I sup I get that, right? Because running, running servers isn't free, 100%. But 50 just seems a little excessive, especially when they're owned by one of the largest corporations in the world. Like, Amazon could... Probably, I don't know exactly how much it costs to run Twitch, but I feel like Amazon could probably just eat the entire cost of what it takes to run Twitch and not even notice, dude, if they wanted to. Like, it would just be a drop in the bucket. Oh, shit, there's a doorway here. Apparently, I just can't see doors is the problem. Get wrecked. Why would we enter free free aim mode when we can just like lock on to anyone, dude? It seems so much easier. I mean, I guess we could like, cause can't you? Didn't they say it was L three? Ah, there we go. Can't you like shoot the gas tank or something? I can't see the gas tank. We don't exactly have a way to zoom. Oh god, the aiming is very touchy. Is that your head? Nope, that wasn't your head. Okay, this is what we do. We just get closer and then shoot. Problem solved. Get wrecked. Stony. Oh, you just gave me some great stuff for it. Wait, what the fuck? You saw that? You're filming me? I didn't realize we were making a film, dude. I ain't into that. I can't wait till we're on the same team. Don't get too excited. You still owe me money. Take that Sendako jump card to the boss, huh? Hey, just respray it so no one recognizes him. <laughs> uh, I'll take care of his body. <clears throat> I don't know if I trust that dude with a body. The way he sounded on the phone just makes me a little uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. He was a little too excited about all of this. Oh, how convenient, man. Pay and spray right here. I used to get mad. Every time I'd go on a pay and spray, I'd accidentally hit something. Like, as soon as I would leave. Every single time, man. Like, the car would be all fresh and, and clean looking. Then I'd back out like that, and then a car would just run into the side of me. Or I'd back right into a car. Like, every time without fail, dude. Just ridiculous. Alright, what kind of cheats do we got, dude? Do we got flying cars on this one? Liberty City Stories. I can't type tonight either. Game FAQs. Oh, not for PSP. For PS2. Uh, PlayStation 2. Cheats. Game Speed Bobblehead World. What? Down, 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 circle, circle, X, L1, R1. Wait. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, yep, we're keeping that one turned on. That is, that is perfect. Can we turn off the radio, or here, you know what, we'll just get... <laughs> yes, dude. This is, this is beautiful. Oh, we can't go in there? Okay, that's, that's got collision. This is, this is great. Okay, what else do we have? Full body, arm, body armor, nice. Pedestrians riot. That one could be fun. Uh, we haven't saved, though. Maybe we should go save before we fuck with too many of these, actually. Let's go do that <laughs> real quick. Just because, like, pedestrians rioting sounds really fun. But it also sounds like a good way for us to, to get dead. Uh, I'm going to take your... Never mind. I'm not going to take your truck. You're leaving. I'm gonna take your car. Oh, and it's convertible? Let's go. What's up, dude? You mind if I... That guy on a motorcycle just ran into him, my guy. What the hell? 
What are you listening to? Get that shit off. Just get all the shit off. Wait, what's that say? Change bike tire size? Cars drive on water? What? That one sounds cool. Okay. Hold on. Let's let's get the save put in real quick. Always practice. Pr oh my lord. Always practice safe cheating is what I was trying to say. There's a baseball bat right here, dude. Why did we not pick that up before? Did it? Maybe it came in late or something. Where's where's save noodle? Thank you so much for the four bits, love. I appreciate you. I did not mean to walk into that one. Um, that's fine. I, I'm fine with the suit. I like suits. Suits look nice. If I didn't have like a job where I get dirty as fuck all the time, I would consider wearing suits more often. Mr. Noodle with another one bit. Thank you. Did you like mistype or something? They would need approximately 1,152 servers based on number of users, a 12 hour max per server for cooldown time. The average commercial server accommodating 7,000 viewers per. They could have the number if they run them 24 sevens with no issue. Is there a figure to say how much all of that cost? Honestly, like 1,152 servers is a lot, but I'm surprised it's not more. Right? With the popularity of Twitch? Like, and does that, do those number include, like, transcribing the, the, the photos? and Or not transcribing, but, um, whatever. Where it takes the, the video and changes it to, like, at least $8. I mean, that's, that's fair. Like, <laughs> that's, that's true. It is at least $8. I can't argue with that. Crimson Rose, what's up, my guy? How you been, man? All chrome vehicles, let's go. Yes, triangle, R1, L1, down, down, R1, R1, triangle. Very cool. Now, apparently all vehicles are chrome. Where's uh cars drive on water? Circle X, down, circle X, up, L1, L1. Nice. What else is there? Gain 250 grand? R1, triangle, L1, R1, circle, L1, R1. Of course, gotta do that, dude. Full body armor, might as well. Circle, L1, R1, X, L1, R1. Nice. There's also an off yourself cheat, but I don't think we're going to put that one in. I want L1, R1, L1, L1, R1, left square. I, I think pedestrians might have started rioting. Perfect handling slash, slash traction. I want up left R1, triangle circle, down X. Guess we'll figure out what that's like in a moment. Spawn a rhino. That's the tank, isn't it? Oh, wait. Did it just, like, instantly blow up? I think it might have spawned, like, on a building or something. What just happened? But honestly, though, like, this is the shit. More games should be like this, as far as cheats go. Oh, shit. I messed it up. Up, square, square, down, left, square, square, right. Thought the game was going to crash, dude. So what weapons did that just give us? Molotovs. Let's go. Shotgun. That's what we want, dude. Give me the shoddy. Now, with the pedestrians rioting, are they going to, like, try and kill us? Or are they just killing each other? There's also, like, no cars on the road. Probably because all the cars are getting <laughs> fucking stolen as soon as they spawn. Okay, what's this perfect traction handling? Oh. Okay, I... Oh, God, no, this is... Is there a way to disable cheats? This is worse. This is definitely worse, dude. It feels so weird. No, it's so touchy now. Like, so touchy. This is... This is like impossible to drive. Oh my god, dude, I can't I can't do it. Is it is it possible to disable cheats? Give me that. I wanna get rid of it. Okay. Hold on. If we put the same one in again. Maybe it'll fix it. L1 up left, R1 triangle circle down X. Did that did that disable the cheat? 
Okay, yeah, I think that seems to have disabled the cheat. Okay, that can that can go away. Now I gotta try driving on water though. I kinda want a bike. I wanna know if the bikes will go on water. Give me this. Now where's the quickest way to the water? Where even is the water? It'd probably be behind like all the warehouses here, right? Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to drive here. Do you mind getting your taxi out of the road? That looks like water. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think uh, bikes count as cars, I guess. We'll try that again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put it in. Change bike tire size. Circle right X up. Right X L1 square. Hmm, maybe it's because we were in the cutscene. Try again. Circle right X up. Right X L1 square. Is there a bike around here? <laughs> yes, dude. Beautiful. About 2 million based off of average commercial server cost plus data cost. Is that... I can't remember. Is that figure per day? Because honestly, even per day, I feel like Twitch could eat that and not have any real problems. If we're being honest. Um, or not Twitch themselves, but like Amazon. If it's like per week, month, year or something like that, then that's literally nothing. There's no way that's per year. But like, here's the thing though. Since Amazon owns them and Amazon also has like the largest set of servers in the world or one of at least the largest set of servers in the world with uh, Amazon AWS then like they should be getting a discount too, a pretty major discount on the actual server hosting costs I like how the tires turn sideways we're slow as shit though dude oh shit yeah Rue have a good night dude Thank you for stopping out, my guy. It would be really weird if Amazon didn't own the servers for Twitch. Like, that'd be like, I don't know, if Microsoft used Google servers for Bing or something, you know? Like, it's just, it wouldn't make much sense. Oh. Well, we can't go through there, apparently. Now, in this one, we probably can't swim. So if we get out of the car, I'm assuming we're just dead. Is there any part of the pier that goes up? Later, well, comes down to the water level? I guess this is one way to get across the bridge early, though. Explore the other, the other city. Oh, there we go. Can we get up on there? Come on, waves. Be my friend. Let me... Let me up. Let me up. Wave me up, daddy. Yes. Uh. Come on. More. More. Let's go. Get out of the car. Let's go. Now, isn't it like... Is this fine? Also, stop driving on water. You're defying the laws of nature. But it's fun. <laughs> I like to find the laws of nature. Dude, if we had the flying car cheat, I would be all over that. Now, I thought in one of them, maybe Grand Theft Auto 3, if you, like, went to one of the areas early that you weren't supposed to be in, you got... Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is a, this is a mini game? I didn't expect that. Anyways, I thought you got, like, max wanted level or something oh jesus christ we already failed i give up go away is there anything for us to do in this town other than mini games probably not because all the missions are going to be in the other one are there people over here though hello citizens there's a person GTA 4, there are roadblocks with SWAT and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the, the like, in this one, the bridges are just broken. 
so you can't cross over early or whatever, but... But since we were just driving on water, it really didn't matter. Silence, what's up, dude? Hello, hello. Thank you, my guy. You missed the stream? No, the stream's still going. Or do you mean you just missed us? Because if that's the case, I miss you too, boo. Wait, is that a cop car? That's a cop car, isn't it? Or no, those are just their heads. I thought those were freaking the lights, dude. <laughs> their heads poking through the ceiling. Whatever, close enough. Oh, we got an Idaho. How fancy, dude. If there is one U.S. state that there's just no reason to go to, what would it be? I don't know why, but when I saw Idaho, that's what popped into my head. I'm not saying I, there's no reason to go to Idaho, though, okay? To be clear, right? I'm sure Idaho is a lovely place. But also, that cop just completely ignored it when we hit the fuck out of him. But as soon as we run over one guy, Mississippi... What's wrong with Mississippi, dude? You're not into the M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I? <laughs> Anybody else when they were a kid just like so happy they could spell Mississippi? That was like a thing, I feel like, when I was a kid. Like, but can you spell Mississippi? And then inevitably you would just have to sing songy M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. And then laugh like a child because I pee pee. Alabama. Alabama's a good one. Yeah. Isn't there like... Is there a Hall of Fame or something in Alabama? Does Alabama have anything? Other than being known for like sleeping with your cousins and shit. What's Alabama got? They got a nice song, I guess. Sweet Home Alabama is a thing. I'm gonna just get out of the car and... <laughs> Except death. Too many S's. They probably got snakes. Oof. Obviously, any state with snakes is just not a state for me, man. Fuck that. Now, I actually don't mind snakes. Like, What is your favorite video game theory? There we go. That's the question of the day today. Um... Wait, I don't actually want this taxi. I don't want to do the taxi. Well, I guess I don't have to do the taxi stuff. Anyways. Um, oh, it's spoilers? Okay. Well, considering we're starting to play Final Fantasy X tomorrow, uh, I guess you can't answer that one. Or you can answer it in chat, and I'll just try not to look. I don't know. But <laughs> the first one that popped into my head is... Because uh, I watch Game Theory a lot on YouTube. And uh, Sans is Ness. Is a theory that Matt Pat talks about all the time that he really liked, but like the community hated or whatever. And uh, for some reason, that just popped into my head. My actual favorite game theory, though. Mm. Oh, it's you. Yeah, how about that? It's me. What do you know? Um. Tough guy. Some of our boys have screwed up a simple. No. Oh shit! Which game was it? Not Final Fantasy Nine. Wait, Sora's mom? Sora's Melody of Memories? What? <laughs> I don't know if I know that one. <laughs> what was I what was I thinking of? Oh, Master of Masters, duh. <laughs> Bro, I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> I'm stupid as hell. I just thought of M Melody of Memory or Memories of Melodies or whatever the fuck the, the new game's called. Bro, why do they gotta... <laughs> they did that shit on purpose. I don't even care. How are you gonna have Masters of Masters with MOM and then also have a fucking game abbreviated MOM? They did that shit on purpose. Then all the Fallout games, you're in a simulation or a robo brain, and that's why something always happens where you lose your brain or a piece of it at some point. That's pretty sick. I've never heard that one either. I'm trying to think... There was one where, like, the whole game, you're actually just dead, basically, is the theory. And I'm trying to remember which game it was. Final Fantasy VIII keeps coming to mind, which, that is a theory about that game, too. After disc one, you're just dead for the entire rest of the game. But that's not the one I was thinking of, though. And it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's evading me. It's not coming, and it's bothering the hell out of me. 
Also, we have no weapons or anything now because we died. Oh my god, dude. This fucking music. Why can't I not just turn it off? Actually, hold up. Radio volume. There we go. Just get rid of it. This is blasphemy, but half these songs are shit anyways. Bye, taxi. Goodbye, taxi. Wait, what are we doing? Are we just are we just going in to rescue him? Excuse me, Mr. Cop, sir. Excuse me, I need I need in here, please. Stardew Valley, no, but Animal Crossing? I think that's been a thing in Animal Crossing before. I watch so many like game theory videos and stuff. It's actually kind of stupid that I can't think of anything solid at the moment. But I'm really struggling to think of a solid response here for which my what my favorite game theory is. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Um, What's even the last one I saw, man? Oh, no. The last one I saw was for some, like, indie horror thing. That doesn't work. I don't know. I give up. I'll go with, uh... Oh, you bastard! Well, we're all dead. Goodbye, Leone. <laughs> oh, that there is one in Stardew Valley that I'm a fan of, though. That the... Fuck. My brain doesn't work. The first girl I married in Stardew Valley... Not that I would expect you to know who that was, but the purple-haired girl that eats rocks. Oh my god, his I face just... No what the no hell help. is this shit? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Anyways, that uh, she's secretly a uh, child of the wizard. That the, the her mom cheated on her dad with him and had, and had her, basically. I like that one. That one makes sense, because she's so much different from everybody else, like, with being adventurous and shit like that. And the purple hair kind of comes out of nowhere, although, obviously, she could just dye it. That's a perfectly reasonable thing to believe. Um, and her mom kind of seems like she's in a somewhat unhappy marriage. Her dad's kind of a dick, honestly, <laughs> like Pierre. Pierre's not awesome. Link is dead, do you think, in Majora's Mask? Ah, uh, yeah, they did do one. I think that was an old one, man. I feel like that was a really old theory. Honestly, we should probably just let ourselves die if we're going to actually do missions. Or, even more fun than missions, we can do what I used to do when I was a child. And just, let's get some weapons. Let's see what's weapon set to. Up, circle, circle, down, left, circle, circle, right. Let's see, what do we got? A sword. Grenades. Grenades are always fun. Oh, the remote detonatable grenades, too. How fancy. I just blew myself up. What's the... What's the... Quick, health cheat. Uh... Bro, I can't. I can't. Full health. L1, R1, X. L1, R1, square. L1, R1. Nice. Full body armor. Uh, L1, R1, circle. L1, R1, X. L1, R1. Let's go! Okay, what other... What other weapons do we have? Get wrecked. Do we have like a... Yeah, right there. Rocket launcher. That's what I wanted, dude. Where's this helicopter at? Hello. Get wrecked. <laughs> Why do you look so much like me, dude? That dude that was shooting me. Can we get five stars? Where's the rhino? Left, I want one right. Triangle circle. Where'd the, where'd the rhino? There's the rhino. Ex excuse me? Uh, bros? <laughs> okay. Get in the rhino. Go quick, go quick. How do we, how do we shoot? 
Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to go into vigilante mode. I just wanted to cause havoc. Not go into vigilante mode. Oh, my God. This thing's got <laughs> no power. Bro. I know there's a car in front of us, but holy shit. Can we aim behind us to give ourselves, like, more... To propel ourselves forward? Let's go. destroy everything. The only problem with that is you can't see the destruction you're causing, and where's the fun in that? Uh, what? <laughs> how, does, how is that pole indestructible, my guy? That thin metal pole with this giant-ass tank running into it, and it's just like, nah, we're fine, dude. We don't mind. Cars blow up if I so much as touch them. But that pole holding up that sign, mm invincible dudes same with that one. Oh yeah the pokemon war one i mean at this point the pokemon war is pretty much confirmed i don't know like a different war i guess than the one that would have been in and before red and blue the theories about but in some pokemon games they do straight up talk about like great wars in the past and stuff like that yeah, I remember that one because, like, the whole point of it was, like, that's why you never see the protagonist's dad or anything like that. Because of the war, right? Like, all, or just, your dad went off to war and died, and that's why, like, the, all the kids are roaming the streets or something like that, trying to make a living for their, their family. Some bullshit along those lines. <laughs> I'm sure there was more to it that I don't remember. <laughs> the little motorbikes blow up like crazy, too. That one feels silly. I mean, most game theories are pretty silly, to be fair. Like, it's kind of the point of game theories, right? Are any of them really serious? Get wrecked. I'm glad the cops aren't trying to, like, get into the vehicle because we would be screwed, man. It's so easy to get stuck in this thing. <laughs> I love how everything blows up just for touching us, though. I wish my memory was better. I'm just trying to think of, like, any game theory now that I've seen. That's not about, like, FNAF or Minecraft. Uh, bu -bu -bu. nope. Brain no work, dude. Brain has left the chat. We need some speed. Let's go. Fucking turbo mode. I thought I had one for a second, a Final Fantasy VII one. I don't. <laughs> it, it disappeared as quickly as it came to me. How do you get to level five? Legitimately, how do you get to level five stars, man? And there's got to be a legitimate way to do it, but I'll be damned if I know how. See, growing up, this is exactly what GTA was. Oh, no! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We Gucci. I thought we were going to flip, dude. We would have been so screwed. Ain't no way we're flipping this thing back over. Could have swore... Can the tank drive on water? I don't know, but we should totally check. I don't think the tank is meant to move this quickly. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. Got to build up that speed. Oh, this car, get out of the way. How 
How do we... How can we water? Where's the water? There's water. Let's go! It can! <laughs> and it goes faster than the normal freaking car because we can turbo with the... the what are these called? Guns? <laughs> I don't know. The fucking... The big guns. The indoctrination theory from Mass Effect? Man, I really need to finish Mass Effect at some point. But you're more than welcome. What is the indoctrination theory for Mass Effect? Also, we're we're are we dead? No, we just we just popped back up out. Let's go, dude. We are unsinkable. I don't think this game was really meant for driving on water, which is terrible to see. Are you talking about gun the game? <laughs> Seeing gun all capitalized like that just makes me think of gun the game. If you're talking about the thing on top of the tank, doesn't it have a, a fancy name? Like not just gun, but big gun. I think, I think we might be, wait, did, did they just send him into the water? I'm guessing they can't swim. I mean, we can't swim. So I'm guessing they can't either. So they're literally just jumping out of there to their death. Excellent. Try again. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Dope. Now, can we, can we even fit through here? No, I don't think it's possible. <laughs> oh. We can boost through. Let's go. Dude, we're so close. Yes, keep going. Keep going. We're like halfway there. Let's go. No, 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 no. Okay. Just got to just got to boost. It's called a turret. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Everything after meeting Harbinger in the first game is in Shepard's mind. He's actually helping the Reapers. They're showing what they think he needs to see to stay under their control because they can use mind control called indoctrination ah, very fancy I would love like if some of these theories ended up being true you know like if the devs would just come out and be like yeah that's totally what's going on the whole time not literally like that but like you know like if the, the next game would come out and just prove all these theories right or something like that because honestly, sometimes, a lot of times, the theories that people come up with for these games are, oh, oh, are more, oh, damn it, <laughs> are more interesting than the actual stories built into the games. So like, Could we try to do another mission? I guess we should actually try doing a mission. Try and play the game a little bit, the proper way. AKA steal a car. Like this one. This one looks nice. Ah, oh, trophy too. Thought this car was rocking there for a second. We must have just ran into it or something. Before Final Fantasy Town was released, Final Fantasy Peasant had a tin foil hat theory that was better than the actual story. See, and that's what I mean, man. That sort of shit is crazy. Like, I love that. What was their theory? I, I imagine that won't be a spoiler for the game, right? Because you said it was better than the actual game, so <laughs> it didn't end up being right. Most confirms that your character in Pokemon Silver. Is the child of OG Team Rocket? What? What? <laughs> the child of OG Team Rocket? So, like, your mom in that game is Jesse? I, I think I'm getting lost here somewhere. What do you, you have to explain oh, yourself, my guy. You. Yeah, how about that? It's me. What do you know? I'll tell you what I know. Talk Seven and fifth. Some of our boys are screwed up team? with simple. No brain fucking job. Oh, I read that as Final Fantasy X for some reason was released. Final Fantasy Peasant had a tinfoil hat. 
I got you. I might have actually seen that one. I've seen some theories, at least, on Final Fantasy VII and XV no, being no. linked. Why am I surrounded by so many fucking idiots? Oh, I don't know. Birds of a feather? Oh, you're a fucking comedian. Well, laugh this off, wise guy. You're the one who's gonna clean this shit up for me. Now get over there and drag those morons back. I personally believe, having never beaten Final Fantasy X, I believe Final Fantasy X and VII are in the same universe. <laughs> I know there are theories on about how that could be possible out there. I've seen a couple of them. And I just oh, yeah, that's right. We do need a bigger vehicle, don't we? But I just I like the I like the idea of that, man. I don't know. Sounds good to me. And like the whole Shinra connection and everything too, it's just too much. It's gotta be connected somehow. I refuse to believe otherwise. Me, Get out of this car, you granny. I don't care about your shopping bags, dude. You're being robbed. <laughs> Shut up about your shopping bags. Dude, if somebody came up to me and stole my fucking car, the last thing I'm going to worry about is, oh no, I'm going to lose my shopping bags. I mean, I guess if they're full of groceries, that would kind of suck. But wait a second. This is the cannot exit way, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Hold on. No, wait. There's That's just grass. We can just, we can just go over that, right? Yeah. That grass looked a little weird, dude. It looked like there was just a giant hole of nothing. Oh, fuck. I think the Sh Shinra thing was just an Easter egg. And, I mean, okay, look. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm fairly certain that in all reality, it's just an Easter egg, right? Yeah, sure, like Sid. Sid being in... in or wait, do you mean Sid in Final Fantasy X specifically? How, how they link to the rest of it, or just the fact that Sid exists in every Final Fantasy game. Just about. Since, like, what was it, Final Fantasy 4 or something like that? Sid linking every Final Fantasy, okay, yeah. I thought that's what you were talking about, but couldn't be sure. Can we please have this car not get blown up? I just want to get to the spray and pay, pay and spray. Oh my god! Oh my god, dudes! Okay. No, no. Y'all have heard the story about how how Grand Theft Auto even became a thing, right? Like, it was a, a bug or something, made the cops way more aggressive than they were meant to be. And then they realized that it was more fun like that, so they just left it that way. Something along those lines, I don't know. Anyways. Bro, I... <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's right, we have the rioting citizens on. I was like, that taxi was there specifically for us to get back to the mission we were just at or whatever. I tried to get in it, and this bastard just fucking hits me in the face and runs off. Or, and then my taxi runs off. Like, son of a bitch, dude. Let me get the tiny wheels on this bike. Anyway, I got really sidetracked. Yeah, in all reality, I'm pretty sure the, the Shinra and... There was, like, another link between 7 and 10. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all just Easter eggs. Like, damn near 100% sure. 90 high 90s anyways um but it's fun and i think it'd be really cool if they were somehow all linked together if all of the family if all of them were somehow linked i think that would be really cool uh they're not <laughs> but it would be neat if they were run away run away <laughs> run away don't mind the explosion citizens everything is fine Okay, seriously? Where are all the cars when you need them? The Final Fantasy Cinematic Universe. Let's go, dude. Oh, look. A, a bike free for the taking. Bye. Oh, God. Oh, we're not dead. Is that water? No, that's grass.
Uh, it's so weird, like, going around here, because even though this is my first time truly playing this game at all, I remember sections of the map, and it's just weird. Nomura had unadulterated access. <laughs> if Quantum Mania takes place in the right universe, it could link every Final Fantasy. Oh, Isn't that, uh, yeah, that? what was the chibi Final you know? Fantasy game? Final Fantasy World or whatever? There you go, dude. That's, <laughs> that's the one that links them all together. What if we just take a taxi? Give me the taxi. On, that's a four-seater, right? right Can you take taxis through pay and spray? I imagine you can. I haven't even played Worlds. World of Final Fantasy, whatever the hell it's called. I've owned it for years. But I don't think I've ever even turned it on. I watched a bit of one of the speed runs of it. It was interesting, honestly. Um, but yeah, never did anything more with it than that. Never heard of it. It's not like a huge Final Fantasy game or anything. Um, it's not one of the mainline ones or, or anything along those lines. It's just, uh, uh, all the Final Fantasy characters, but chibi, but small and cute. And you collect things like Pokemon or something like that too, I think, from what I remember. Not like actual Pokemon, but you collect things like you do in Pokemon. This is not a force eater. This is a force eater. <laughs> when Final Fantasy mentions a grimoire, you just skip dialogue. Fair. That makes me think of Grim Grimoire, which makes me think of Odin's Fear. And my god, dude. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Police sirens are on. I need you all to move out of the way. Shit, I did just think pay and spray probably won't do a cop car, right? They'll do a lot of shit, but probably not a cop car. They might. We're gonna try. Anyways, yeah, Odin. I'm getting sidetracked a lot in this game. I loved Odin Sphere, and the story for it was legitimately interesting. But my god, was it confusing as hell, man. With the way they had it split up into, like, multiple parts with multiple different... Uh, characters and whatnot and all like none of the times were lined up they were all like what was that movie movie or show the first season of the witcher that's what it was yeah you won't do the cop car son of a bitch okay where they they had like the big time uh span in between the Witcher the, the parts with the Witcher and the part with, with like the witch and the girl and everything like that oh you, oh you bastards excuse me pay and spray is like right here dude no <laughs> it's so hard to drive this with four pop tires I've driven with a pop tire before. Just one, granted, but still. It wasn't this bad. Holy shit. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah! Oh, dude, we're so close. Just let me in. Let me in. Oh, thank bejeebus. Which was very convoluted for no reason. I really liked the first season of The Witcher, I'm not gonna lie, though. Can these cops, like... Isn't there a way to look behind us? I don't want to, like, hit a cop and get all of my stars back. Ooh, that was some masterful driving there. Let's go. Yeah, The Witcher Season 1 was probably my favorite season. It was good, just hard to follow. Yeah, it's a lot easier, like, rewatching it, but 
you shouldn't have to rewatch a, a show for, for it to make sense at the same time, though. But yeah. You're going to miss Henry, I know. It's not going to be the same without Henry, dude. Honestly, after watching the newest season, season three or four, whichever one it is, Henry's last season, I, I'm going to have to think long and hard about whether I want to continue watching it after that. I, I legit don't know what I want to do. I'm definitely going to watch the last season with Henry in it, but... And the creators, the show writers for that show are just stupid, man. Like, a, an interview or something, some something came out at some point where I think it was the main writer said that uh, if it comes down to it, they could just continue the show without Geralt in it, period. And like, bro, how the hell are you going to have The Witcher without The Witcher? Like, that just sounds stupid as hell to me. The only Witcher media you've actually seen or played was Witcher 3. I haven't played 3. I've played 1, um, though I haven't beaten it. And I've read the first couple of books, and I've watched the show. And uh, I've enjoyed all of them, although the first game, while I do like it, is a little bit rough around the edges, for sure. Giving us a Warhammer show, though. I've never seen or done anything Warhammer. I know nothing about Warhammer other than a tiny bit of stuff people have talked about before around me. It sounds like an interesting universe, don't get me wrong, but, like, I know nothing about it. Well, hi there. Get out of here. A little trumpetto for you. Hey, who loves you, Angel? You do, Vinny. Is that your mother on the phone? That woman is jacked, dude. You're disgusting. Where's your respect? Respect? I call it multitasking, Antonio. What? Don't you like getting a hot bra to suck you off? What? Because if it's a problem, I can get Ray to help you out. Fuck you. Oh, my God, dude. Balls. Relax. Listen. Gotta love GTA, man. I need you to do me a favor. I got girls crazy for blow. I got a car full of it parked in Trenton. Go pick it up. Give me a call. What am I, your driver? Screw you. No, listen, 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 listen. I do it myself. Wait, what? Bro, don't need a taco that's set there since last night. <laughs> that is a weird thing to put in front of the second thing. It's like a completely different topic. One of two things is going to happen you eat that taco. You're going to trip balls or you're going to die. Like, just don't eat the fucking taco, dude. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I know his videos I've seen online. Never played or anything, though. I would be willing to play, like D&D, &D, you know? I've always been interested, but uh, don't actually know anything about. Well, I, I play D&D &D now, so I know a bit about D&D, &D, but. Oh, you're already typing that out when you, I, okay, okay. I follow, I gotcha. But still, don't eat the taco. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Just leave the taco. There's other food you can eat somewhere, I'm sure. If nothing else, don't you have a car? <laughs> Go to the gas station and buy some food. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, that is so fucked, Chocobo. <laughs> God, I'm dying. I'm the one dying. Just reading that is killing me. How the hell you gonna... That is disgusting, dude. <laughs> like... Uh, I have a bag of burritos in the car that you would eat throughout the week. Not you, but a friend. That is... That is terrible. Uh, definitely do not recommend. That's, <laughs> especially, like, it contains meat, dude. Like, like, the tortilla shells would be fine, probably. But the meat and or beans, depending on the type of burrito? Bro, that's, no. You don't want to do that. Bro, everything's fucking blowing up. <laughs> it's Taco Bell, so it's DOA. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't get behind that. It's hot enough out, the heat will kill all the bacteria anyway. Yeah, so, fun fact about that, right? Like, that's true, right? If something's heated hot enough, it'll kill all the bacteria. But the problem is the spores that they leave 
behind and the toxins that they leave behind and shit like that aren't killed off by heat. Not uh, Bacteria don't leave spores, but they do leave toxins. And that's not killed off by the heat. So, like, reheating something doesn't automatically make it safe. And, like, fungus and shit, unless it's in, like, a sealed jar or can or something that was sterilized beforehand, fungus and new bacteria and shit like that can get into it. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why, like, a canned food is safe to eat straight out of the jar for a long-ass time, as long as there's no holes in the jar or whatever. But, like, just a burrito loosely wrapped in a piece of paper or taco loosely wrapped in a piece of paper that's been sitting there for days or a week... I don't know, man. I'm apprehensive to eat something that... I'm the same way, dude. 100%. I'm the same way. Fuck, dude. I... Like, say I have... Okay, I have an actual example. I made, um... I think it was chicken or something. It was chicken or, or burger. That's what it was. It was burger. I made some burgers, right? And, uh... I had some left over, and I didn't want to eat burgers. So I cut it up and put it in some soup that I was making, um, the, the hamburger. And, uh, I was apprehensive about just eating that soup because it was heated up and then cooled down and then heated up again, <laughs> like, and then put in the fridge. And then like any of the soup that I now reheat, that's three cooking cycles that it's been through. I'm apprehensive or was apprehensive about just eating that soup. I was like, I don't know, man. I was like, well, each time I cooked it, it went like straight in the fridge afterwards so it cooled down really quickly so like it's probably fine but like i was still really iffy about that leaving food out same way dude like i i try to whenever i can whenever i'm buying cold stuff at the store i try to use freezer bags and stuff to to keep it nice and cool until it gets home um trying to dodge all these fucking spike traps I don't leave, like, even my pizza and stuff like that, I won't leave out for more than, like, an hour before I get it in the fridge. Like, I'm just not one of them people. It's important for our immune system. I don't think getting food poisoning is important for your immune system. <laughs> I think, I think you'll be okay without it. But, hey, that's just, that's just a theory. A game theory, no, uh... Oh my god, dude, we were doing fine! And then these assholes! Okay. It's like right here, next block. Right here. Get in this bitch, let's go. Huh. Worst for me is growing up, we didn't have money, so we had a pizza that we got one night. A week later, didn't have food, found that pizza in the oven, tried to eat it. Got real bad food poisoning, but I'm alive. So I'd say I won. See, I, I don't know, man. Like, just, nope. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it, dude. I'm glad you lived through all that. But why tempt fate? <laughs> I say don't do it. One and learned. <laughs> I don't think he learned anything. He's talking about eating a day-old taco. I don't think that's learning. I think that's anti-learning. Why well, live last time, so why not do it again? No! <laughs> Bro. Twelve hours at most. Twelve hours at most. Technically, the safety range for, like, food being in the danger zone, I think, is, like, two hours or something like that. Now, the U.S. Go government is, like, very conservative usually on safety stuff for food so you can probably technically go a little bit longer that and and be okay but like i don't think a little bit longer translates to 12 <laughs> bro green spots it was out of the freezer though how did it get green spots on it in the freezer either that freezer wasn't at the right temp or it had green spots beforehand <laughs> like <laughs> haven't eaten anything for more than two days old. <laughs> more than two days. I'm over here with my two hours, and you're like, yeah, dude, 48 hours is fine. Bro. <laughs> I'm just imagining now, dude. 
gonna get a, a call from my brother or something like that. Like, yo, did you hear what happened to why me? I'm be like, nah, bro, what happened? He's gonna be like, yeah, he ate a fucking week old taco and died. 100%. That's what's about to happen. Probably the latter. Bro. <laughs> so fucked, dude. Y'all are, y'all are crazy, man. Mm -mm -mm. I can't do it. Can't do it. Kind of want some soup, though. I have... Okay. I have some uh, sausage in the fridge that I need to cook. Because tomorrow is the last day for its freshness date. And I ain't eating that shit after the freshness date. Correction. I'm not cooking or freezing that after the correction date. Once I cook it, I'll leave it into the fridge for up to an extra day. But I think I'm going to make spaghetti with sausage. Well, I'm going to leave the sausage separate. Because Noodle won't eat the sausage, but she will eat my spaghetti sauce as long as I use tomato sauce, not tomato chunks. So, yeah. Can pick mold off bread and apples technically still edible? Yeah, hard foods you can generally... Again, I don't personally do it. But hard foods you can technically pick mold off of and probably be fine. Like hard cheeses, as an example. Um, oh, shit. I didn't realize what we were getting into. I don't want to do it. Um, and like bread and stuff like that, right? Like, because there's different types of mold. And with bread, picking the moldy spots off, you're still going to be eating a lot of spores because those spores are going to be all through the bread because it, it, because it's a soft object. Like that, that mold is, once there's a little bit of mold on it, there's mold throughout that whole bread, whether you like it or not. But the mold on bread isn't particularly dangerous. As long as you don't eat a large amount of it. I still wouldn't do it. But like, yeah. Um, and apples and fruits and stuff like that. Because they're hard. It might be okay. Depending on the fruit or whatever. But again, I wouldn't risk it, man. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Unless I was like starving to death, man. I'll just, I'll pass. I don't think I got food poison and just discomfort for a few hours. There's different kinds of food poisoning. You could have had it. It's always wild to me. Like, one of the most common types of food poisoning is from rice. Um, rice is really likely to give you food poisoning. Um, like, cooked rice, that is. But people don't tend to worry about it as much because the food poisoning from rice, generally you just throw up and shit yourself for like half a day or something and then you're fine <laughs> generally speaking so it's like wash your rice it depends on what you're making and where you buy your rice washing your rice legitimately dude washing your rice was a thing back in the day because rice was disgusting when you bought it right it had bugs and dirt and just all kinds of undesirables in it so you washed it to get rid of that shit and then with some dishes the extra not gluten, starch. The extra starch that's uh, coating the rice from, like, the processing of it can make the sauce thicker or stickier or whatever. So in that case, you'd probably want to wash your rice. But if, depending on the dish, dude, you don't want to wash your rice for everything. Or just depending how you like your fucking rice. Because to be honest with you, it is very rare I wash my rice. Because I've tried both. I've tried washing many times. Um, and I just did not see a big enough benefit to washing it that I do it. Because where I buy my rice from, it's pre-washed. And in America, <clears throat> with most rices that you buy, they are fortified with, like, vitamins and shit like that. And if they use the cheaper type of fortification where they just dust it with vitamins, then when you rinse it, you're going to wash all that shit right off. There is a, uh, <clears throat> more expensive type of fortification where they actually use, like, little vitamin pellets that they put in the rice. And that's where, like, if you've ever seen online, like, oh, they're putting plastic in the rice, and then they, they show uh, a picture of rice, and there's, like, some, some pieces that look different or whatever. That's fucking vitamin pellets, dude. Get over yourself. <clears throat> they're not putting plastic in the rice. That's all besides the point, though. Uh, I don't wash my rice. That's all I'm saying. And sometimes it can be detrimental to do so. 
Wash your meat? Don't wash your fucking meat, dude. That's disgusting. <laughs> when you... <laughs> if you wash your fucking meat, all you're doing is... All the, like, little, little particles of water and shit, you're just spreading that shit everywhere. All over your fucking kitchen, man. Why can't we do this mission? I ain't got no work for no Leone. Uh oh, it's yeah, it's because the shirt, the clothes I'm wearing. I, I I understand now. It even says it up there in the corner. I'm just dumb. Wash your apples too. They got wax on them. That's true. They do have wax on them. <clears throat> it's a uh, food grade edible wax. There's uh no harm in eating the wax, but that is true. Um, just washing them probably won't remove the wax though. If you really want to, you should probably, uh, boil some water and dip the apple in it for a few seconds or something to get the wax off, but just makes them last longer. Yeah, apples are actually amazing. With some modern varieties of wa apples, <laughs> with some modern varieties of apples along with, uh, refrigeration and the waxing process that they go through, they can last up to, like, a year or something like that in storage and, uh, still be completely fresh. Like a lot of the apples you buy from the store are actually pretty damn old and you wouldn't you wouldn't know it for the most part. It's kinda it's kinda crazy. Wapple. Love me some wapples. Or peel them like a Chad. I do not I c I don't I don't peel anything. You only eat the apple skin. Be out here peeling apples for the skin, dude. Throwing away the fruit. I like it. That's what we need more of in this world, dude. People like that. <laughs> Noodles and apple peeler. She she hates skin in general. Um, and, like, I get it. Apple skin is kind of meh. If we're being completely honest with each other here, like, apple skin is kind of crappy. It's not very good tasting. It's a little tough. Like, it's not great. But I still just eat the fucking skin, dude. Like, it's not that big of a deal. You're not joking. I, I just <laughs> Oh, chicken skin and pork skin, dude. Pork skin is amazing too. Love me some some cracklins or uh what the fuck do they go by? They have another name they go by. Pork pork rinds. There we go. Pork rinds. Love me some pork rinds, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got there. <laughs> it just took me a minute. Okay, Jay's the one we've been going to. We need to go to C. Or actually, we're like out of time, and this truck handles like shit, dude. I sure I'm gonna eat these peaches he bought. Just try one with the skin on, dude. I eat the skin of, uh. Lightly peel this outside and have it. Yeah, I guess you could. Like, I don't, I've just never tried to peel a peach. I feel like that'd be a real bitch to do, to be honest, but. It sounds weird to me, peeling a peach. But anyways, I eat the skin of uh, kiwis, and some people find that really fucking weird. But honestly, the skins on kiwis taste delicious, man. Because, like, they're, they're more tart than the actual fruit is, and it's just, ah, so good. This man eats kiwis, all of it. Yeah, dude. I don't eat, like, the bottom part, the root part of it. Or not root, but where it attaches to the plant. Because that part's really tough. But the rest of it? Yeah, dude. I ate the whole kiwi. They're fuzzy? Who cares if they're fuzzy? Stemhead. I, is that the actual name of it? It could be. I I wouldn't know. Stemhead sounds like a, a funny insult to call someone, though. Yeah, well, you're just a fucking stemhead, dude. <laughs> I'm going to start telling people. They come in chat being a dumbass. Stop being a stemhead, bro. Fucking dumb. Anyways. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, try try kiwi skin sometime, guys. That's the that's the that's the moral of the story. Kiwi skins taste good, and they're they're perfectly edible. Highly suggest. Give it a try. They're delicious, and it's easier to eat the, the kiwi that way, right? There's no cutting it in half and using a spoon to skip it out or any of that bullshit. You just fucking clean it off, and then you bite into the bitch. I would suggest top down, but if you want to eat it from the side, that's okay. You do you. Just bite. That's right. <laughs> don't chew, don't swallow, nothing of that bullshit. You just bite. I mean, what is chewing, really, if it's not just biting over and over again? 
They're hairy. You're hairy, you stemhead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Split it and fold it in half? Wait, the kiwi? <laughs> you just... What? <laughs> <laughs> how do you I, I'm, I can't tell if you're being serious I'm trying to think of like how you would split it and fold it in half how do you fold a kiwi in half without just like destroying it dude especially because kiwis are so juicy like mm. lots of things people eat are hairy that's true dude cows are hairy chickens are feathery um what other hairy fruit there's another hairy fruit I mean, peaches have, like, a really fine fuzz on them sometimes. Uh, quite often, actually. Isn't there, like, a hairy fruit that's commonly eaten? Am I thinking of peaches? I don't know. I've never been bothered by it, though. Potato skins. Gotta eat them skins, dude. Skins are good for you. That's where nutrition is. Or at least that's what I was told growing up. I don't, <laughs> don't actually know if that's true at all. But... Ugh, you're missing out if you don't eat skins. That's all I'm saying. Watch a guy make a cow head once. He just burned off the hair. That's what they do with, like, chickens and things, too. Um, like, after they pluck them, if there's any little bits that are still on it, like if you're doing it at, at home or whatever, you know what I mean? Then you can just, like, take a torch and just burn the last little last little bit that's on there. Burn it off. Any feather remnants or the little little ends for the uh, the quills from the stem. Not the stems. The fucking feathers. Thinking of hairy oranges? Is that a thing? <laughs> now, now I'm concerned. Are hairy oranges a thing? You guys ever had kumquats? Kumquats are weird. They're like miniature oranges. You eat the skin and everything. You just pop the whole thing in your mouth hole. Uh, I'm going to search for hairy orange and I'm going to regret it. Hairy oranges could refer to... Gossamer, a hairy orange monster from Looney Tunes... <laughs> What? Hairy mock orange, a medium-sized shrub that's rare in North Carolina mountains. Zexmenia, a plant with bright orange daisies and f fuzzy foliage. These are all AI responses, by the way. You sure you're not just talking about eating gossamer? The hairy orange monster from Looney Tunes? Because <laughs> I think you're talking about eating gossamer. It's crazy that 10,000 bits is $200. It's 10,000 bits, bro. Like, <laughs> what do you expect? It is crazy, though, man. Honestly. Like, hmm. That's not a specific word. It's got to be a specific word. Can't just be a theme. It's got to be a word. <laughs> because, like, what if I'm just talking about uh, my cat, right? My cat has a lot of that thing on it. My, okay. Fine. Fair. My cat has a lot of hair on them. They are covered in hair. Their hair sheds. It. They leave hair everywhere. Hair, hair, hair. <laughs> Get wrecked, bro. <laughs> Noodle hates hair. Specifically, like, wet hair or hair that gets stuck to them or anything like that. She straight up gags, man. Whenever it happens. It's, uh terrible honestly dude i seriously was like i brush him once every few days noodle supposedly brushes him every once in a while um what is something with a lot of hair called again i think they're called uh gross no monkeys monkeys have a lot of hair cats they're called cats <laughs> never mind <laughs> Always impressed with how well our tongues identify hair. Honestly, yeah, that must have been an evolutionary trait at some point. Like, like, <laughs> let's lick this thing. Does it have hair? Because we need to know right now. I wonder if it's something to do with, like... Because, like, hair isn't digestible, right? So, like, if you ha ate too much of it, it could form, like, a, a blockage in your intestines. So maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe we were licking each other a lot back in the day and... We had to make sure we could get that hair out of our mouths. I don't... I don't know. I think I need to go now. <laughs> Noodle's gonna throw up. <laughs> oh. God. Oh, dude. I completely sidetracked. Again. Brushing the cat all the time. I do it. Noodle apparently does it. 
Um, and then you pet him, and it's just hair coming off constantly. I don't know how he has any left on his body with how much he sheds. Like, it's ridiculous. Honestly. I don't know how it's possible. It is, like, summertime now, though, so all of the cats are shedding. There's just the hair everywhere. I hate it. No, we're not making hair crafts, dude. That's so gross. <laughs> For somebody who hates hair so much, it's incredible to me that you want to make Watch it, pal. <laughs> a hair craft. I just <laughs> noodle... I have a question for you, love. Are you still here? Are you still... Can you hear? Can can we cover our cat in Elmer's glue? And then just fucking peel it off? Like... <laughs> please? <laughs> just think of all the hair it would remove, man. That'll work so much better than the, <laughs> than the fucking brush. Just... Oh my god, dude. Honestly, though, it's so satisfying. Like, whenever you get glue on your own hand or something, and then you peel it off, it's so satisfying. Maybe it would be satisfying for him. Like, maybe it's because we have hair like fibers on our tongues. Do we? I know cats do. That's why, like, it's like sandpaper whenever they're licking you, because they have, like, the little hooks. Do humans have that, too? I actually don't know. Give him an Elmer's carapace. <laughs> I'm all for it. She won't let me, though. But with that said, she has to go to work tomorrow. And uh, I have a couple hours between when I get up and I have to start streaming. So... Just throwing that out there. <laughs> You're not allowed to touch any of them anymore? <laughs> oh my god. For legal reasons, I wouldn't cover my cats in Elmer's glue, people. It's a joke. Even though it is non-toxic, so I imagine it wouldn't be harmful to them in any way. But, yeah. Cats lick themselves like crazy, so it's kind of annoying. You're going to get your shower now? That's fine. I'm getting off anyways. I was just... <laughs> had to finish up the conversation we were having about, about hair. Plus, I'm waiting for this IRL word ban to end so I can just shout it. Um, we got like 30 seconds left. And yeah. Why do you just use your tongue so much that they... What? We do. You just use your tongue so much that they fall out. I feel like you're lying to me. I don't think our tongues are hairy. We don't have hairy tongues. Harry, I don't know. Look it up. Oh, God, dude. If I search for hairy tongue, that's going to be bad. Do human tongues have... Oh, my God. I can't type. Have hair. All of us have tiny hair-like structures on our tongues. These are not the same as hairs in your head, even though they share similar properties. Human tongues have tiny hair-like structures called filiform papillae. <laughs> These structures are not the same as hair on your head, even though they share similar properties. Hairy tongue occurs when the... Okay, that's like a, a disorder, though. So, is it... I imagine it must be like, like what cats have, but just a lot smaller than? I don't know, man. That's weird. Look up if tongues are hairy. I search for do human tongues have hair. And, I mean, it does say human tongues have tiny hair-like structures. So, I guess technically true. But, like, I don't know, man. I, is it, like, what's the purpose of them, though? It's got to be, like, helping food go down your throat or something like that, maybe? Like, pushing it back? Or hairy tongues don't bother me as much as the idea of tongue follicles? <laughs> I don't know why I just find that funny <laughs> to think about tongue follicles just little just little hair follicles all over our tongue <laughs> just spouting out hairs imagine if you had like actual hair just coming out of your tongue all the time that would be terrible noodle would literally die didn't take your points you still have that's weird I mean that's fine I don't mind 
that you do, but it's weird. Alright, guys. <laughs> I think that's enough of torturing Noodle for the for the night. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow, though. <clears throat> We're going to be starting around sometime between 5 and 5.30 tomorrow. Uh, we're starting up Final Fantasy X. Probably going to be playing that for a good while. Because, uh, yeah, it's, what, like 80 hours or something like that on average? Give or take a few hours. So, we'll be playing that for a little bit. But I'm excited for it, dude. Finally going to be finishing Final Fantasy X. Which is, uh, honestly, it's wild to think about. I first played that game, like, I'm 30 years old. So, like, 16 years ago or something like that. 15 years ago, 16, somewhere around there, I first played that game and I've never finished it. It's ridiculous to think about. So, worst stream ever, least favorite out of all of them. <laughs> it's fine, Nuda. We're ending. You don't have to deal with it anymore. <clears throat> Anyways, point is, if y'all are free tomorrow and you're interested in Final Fantasy X, I hope to see you there. If not, then uh, just think about the hair on your tongue, I guess. Um, or not, you know, whatever you prefer. That's up to you. Have a good night, guys. Thank you again for joining, and uh, as always, be kind to each other, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Well, just continue trying to find Rabina here. I'm assuming during the trek over here, she probably got like stuck on some geometry somewhere or something. The nav mesh messed up, but it's slightly annoying nonetheless. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure if the game was crashing or what was going on. I think it just had to load a little bit there. 12, 11 p.m. Chilly thunderstorm. Exposure increasing rapidly. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes it just be like that. All right, Rabina, where, where, where you be? Is there a way to just like teleport her to us? Seriously, though, where is she? Never came across it and it's supposed to be good for older cars. Yeah, I mean, like, again, modern engines are just built to run on it, so I don't think it really matters. Like, I don't think it'll hurt anything to run it on ethanol-free gas. I think you're just going to be paying extra for no good reason. From my understanding, I'm not some mechanic or anything. But, uh, yeah, like, old cars, especially... No... Doesn't the ethanol increase the rating? I remember, like, the reason they added lead to gasoline to begin with. There's Rabina. I see her walking like she just shit herself. Anyways, the reason they used to add lead to gasoline was because the, um, the rating that gas gets. I forget what it's called. But it was too low in straight gasoline without additives and the cheapest easiest to come across additive they could find that would stop engines from knocking like give it a high enough octane rating there you go that's what it's called anyways was lead and that's why they started adding lead to it and then at some point they found out that they could use a mixture of like ethanol and i believe they put something else in there too other than lead because of course they found out that they poisoned an entire generation of people with lead poisoning which is you know fantastic and all of the things it causes, because whenever the gasoline, leaded gasoline is burnt, 